Let's take a look at this example. These resistors are placed in kind of a funny way. Okay, so, but we don't have to look how they are placed. We're supposed to look how they are connected. Okay, so positive terminal, okay, is connected to, to one terminal of R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5, okay, and rest of them are connected to the ground and we have ground over here right so it means the current is going to to flow from the ohm meter to all of them is going to split into five different currents the current which will go through r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 and by the ground is going to get back to the ohm meter so it means that these resistors are connected in parallel. One more time, total current will go through these terminals. It's going to split into five different currents. Okay, and these currents are going to get back and you know flow to to uh, the ohm meter as a one total current. So it means that these resistors are in parallel. So again, I'm going to use the formula. R total is equal 1 over open parenthesis 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 plus 1 over R5 okay so I have R total R total is equal 1 divided by open parenthesis and I have 1 over R1 which is equal 1 kilo ohm plus 1 over 2.2 kilo ohms plus 1 over 3 kilo ohms plus 1 over 2 kilo ohms plus 1 over 3 kilo ohms. Okay. So this is equal. Now I'm going to use the calculator. So I have 1 1 divided by open parenthesis and I have 1 divided by 1 exponent 3 plus 1 divided by 2.2 .2 exponent 3 plus 1 divided by 3 exponent 3 plus 1 divided by 2 exponent 3 plus 1 divided by 3 exponent 3 close parenthesis and my answer is 381.5 ohms 381.5 ohms and this is basically the value which is going to be measured by my ohm meter and this is my solution